Many of us will ring in 2021 at home this year. And if you're looking to add a little spirit to your festivities, we may be able to help. Fitz Bailey is the National Brand Ambassador with Brown Foreman. He's joining us now with some cocktails using Cooper's Craft. Hi, Fitz. How's it going, Jennifer? I'm doing well, thanks. So help us for all of those of us who will be celebrating at home this year. Give us some drink ideas, cocktails and mocktails. So I have three easy, bubbly, delicious beverages. The first one I'm gonna make for you is called the Sage Advice. So we're using a little bit of sage in here because we gotta get rid of that bad 2020 energy. So for this, I'm going to be using 1.5 ounces of Cooper's Craft, 82.2 Kentucky Straight Bourbon. And I'm gonna pour this into an already filled glass of ice because we're just gonna build this in the glass. Then I'm gonna add 0.75 ounces of a delicious lime ginger sage simple syrup. That sounds complicated. It's actually really easy. It's just a little sugar, lime ginger uh, sage simmered into a syrup. It's an amazing old fashioned. We're gonna give this a little stir in the glass and then top it off with some wonderful apple cider. Now we're not done yet because I have a little sage leaf that I'm gonna light on fire because again, we wanna get rid of those bad vibes. So I'm just gonna singe this a little bit, get a nice little smoke going, wave it around the room, because 2020, we're done with it, we're over. Get, get us some new energy for 2021, I like that. Exactly, easy peasy sage advice. Now, the next drink though I have, we are gonna need a shaker. So grab your shaker, fill it up with ice. For this, we're also gonna be using that magic number, that 1.5 ounces, it's a good number for cocktails. Pour that into your shaker, now, for this drink, I am using a coupe glass. So you can use a flute for this, but what I love about the coupe, you see it's got this huge mouth on it. We're gonna top this with champagne, and this mouth is gonna prevent the bubbles from spilling over. Okay. You know, those flutes sometimes erupt. We don't, we don't need that. <laughs> so for this, for our fine pairing, we're using hair simple syrup, 0.75 ounces, and 0.75 ounces of some freshly squeezed lemon juice. I'm gonna give this a shake. It might be a little loud, so I gotta warn you about that. <laughs> so once this is nice and cool, we're gonna just pour it into our coupe glass. And this makes a fantastic mocktail. Same ingredients, toss the bourbon out. We don't need it for the mocktail. And we're gonna use, instead of some wonderful champagne, for the mocktail, we want a delicious uh, grape or apple cider just to put on top. We need a little bubbly on New Year's Eve. Gotta have a little bubbly, you know? And it can be it can be sparkling grape, it can be sparkling apple, and then I'm going to put a little lemon twist on here just to give it some nice color. But this is going to be our fine pairing. Super easy, very delicious. Now, the last drink I have, I saved this for the end because this is the drink you want at the end of the night because you're tired, you've done a lot, you've had so many appetizers, all the cheese, so this will be our easiest beverage. This is a Kentucky sparkler. Again, we want to fill up our glass with ice. We are going to add that magical, magical 1.5 ounces of Kentucky straight bourbon, Cooper's Craft 82.2. And then I'm going to top this with apple cider. It's literally two ingredients. Very, very simple. Give it a stir with your straw. Now for the garnish on this, I did cut up some apples and dust them with cinnamon. If you're cutting up apples, you want to just add a little lemon juice to them. It's going to keep them from going brown. Very, very easy, very pretty drink. And that's a Kentucky Sparkler. And those are three easy beverages and one mocktail that you can enjoy on New Year's Eve. And we will get those recipes for everyone on our Facebook page as well. Fitz Bailey, cheers to 2021. Cheers to you, Jennifer. <laughs>